All that you have done to us, O Lord, you have done with true judgment, for we have sinned against you and not obeyed your commandments. But give glory to your name and deal with us according to the bounty of your mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy. Bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Amos. The Almighty Lord says this, Woe to those ensconced so suddenly in Zion, and to those who feel so safe on the mountain of Samaria, lying on ivory beds, and sprawling on their divans. They dine on lambs from the flock, and still fattening, fattened veal. They bawl to the sound of the harp. They invent, invent new instruments of music like David. They drink wine by the bowlful, and use the finest oil for anointing themselves. But about the ruin of Joseph, they do not care at all. That is why they will be the first to be exiled. The sprawler's revelry is over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. It is the Lord who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. Praise the Lord, my soul. It is the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. It is the Lord who loves the just, the Lord who protects the stranger. Praise the Lord, my soul. He upholds the widow and orphan, 
that thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. Signs God from age to age. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. As a man dedicated to God, you must aim to be saintly and religious, filled with faith and love, patient and gentle. Fight the good fight of the faith and win for yourself the eternal life to which you were called when you made your profession and spoke up for the truth in front of many witnesses. Now before God, the source of all life, and before Jesus Christ, who spoke up as a witness for the truth in front of Pontius Pilate, I put to you the duty of doing all that you have been told with no faults or failures until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who at the due time will be revealed by God, the blessed and only ruler of all, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal, whose home is inaccessible light, whom, whom no man has seen and no man is able to see. To him be honour and everlasting power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Jesus Christ was rich, but he became poor to make you rich out of his poverty. Alleluia. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who used to dress in purple and fine linen and feast magnificently every day. And at his gate there lay a poor man called Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to fill himself with the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even came and licked his sores. Now the poor man died and was carried away by the angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In his torment in Hades he looked up and saw Abraham a long way off with Lazarus in his bosom. He cried out, Father Abraham, pity me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. My son Abraham replied, Remember that during your life good things came your way, just as bad things came the way of Lazarus. Now he is being comforted here while you are in agony. But that is not all. Between us and you, a great gulf has been fixed to stop anyone if he wanted to, crossing from our side to yours, and to stop any crossing from your side to ours. The rich man replied, Father, I beg you then to send Lazarus to my father's house, since I have five brothers, to give them warning so that they do not come to this place of torment too. They have Moses and the prophets, said Abraham. Let them listen to them. Ah no, Father Abraham, said the rich man, but if someone comes to them from the dead, they will repent. Then Abraham said to him, if they will not listen either to Moses or to the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
The readings today emphasize our sinfulness, and so um, I'll read from the Roman Missal, uh, the first prayers at the, at the back in the section called Preparation for Mass. Uh, this is, has the title, The Prayer of St. Ambrose. I draw, near, I draw near, loving Lord Jesus Christ, to the table of your most delightful banquet, in fear and trembling, a sinner presuming not upon my own merits, but trusting rather in your goodness and mercy. I have a heart and body defiled by many offences, a mind and tongue, over which I have kept no good watch. Therefore, O loving God, O awesome majesty, I turn in my misery, caught in snares, to you, the fountain of mercy, hastening to you for healing, flying to you for protection. And while I do not look forward to having you as judge, I long to have you as saviour. To you, O Lord, I display my wounds. To you, I uncover my shame. I am aware of my many and great sins, for which I fear, but I hope in your mercies, which are without number. Look upon me then with eyes of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, eternal King, God and man, crucified for mankind. Listen to me as I place my hope in you. Have pity on me, full of miseries and sins. You who will never cease to let the fountain of compassion flow. Hail, O saving victim, offered for me and for the whole human race on the wood of the cross. Hail, O noble and precious blood, flowing from the wounds of Jesus Christ, my crucified Lord, and washing away the sins of all the world. Remember, Lord, your creature, whom you redeemed by your blood. I am repentant of my sins. I desire to put right what I have done. Take from me, therefore, most merciful Father, all my iniquities and sins, so that purified in mind and body, I may worthily taste the Holy of Holies, and grant that this sacred foretaste of your body and blood, which I, though unworthy, intend to receive, may be the remission of my sins, the perfect cleansing of my faults, the banishment of shameful thoughts, and the rebirth of right sentiments. And may it encourage a wholesome and effective performance of deeds pleasing to you, and be a most firm defence of body and soul against the snares of my enemies. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the world. Correction, I'll uh, sing the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified, 
under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the, for the world, let us pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for the entire people, for the whole Christian people, let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For those who hold public office, let us call upon the power of, of the Lord. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, let us call upon the judge of all humanity. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all of us who pray in faith, and ask the mercy of the Lord. Let us entreat the compassion of our Saviour. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Incline your mercifully to our prayers. We ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.